Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to the Minecast server. Yeah, I haven't made a video in, in a while. <laughs> it's, uh... I don't really have an excuse for it, I just haven't felt like making a video. And I, I decided to make a video today because I have a lot of time on my hands, and I've been thinking a lot about things for no apparent reason because I have nothing else to do. So I wanted to take, make a, uh, I don't know, this will, this might be a quick, a quite a short video. And maybe I'll think, make you guys think, and maybe, maybe I'll, uh, I, I don't know. I just feel like making a video like this today. But, uh, first of all, someone left me a, a nice message in my house. I'm not sure who it was, but maybe they'll tell me, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, thank you for everything, John. I love the heart-touching commentaries. You made me look towards the positivities in my life. You got me into snowboarding, magic, YouTube, and so much more. I just want to say thank you. And I thought that was, that was really awesome. <laughs> and, uh, I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, they had some diamonds and emeralds and redstone in here. But, um, uh, I think the server got griefed or it got rolled back and something happened. I'm not sure entirely. But basically, a lot of my stuff is gone. Pistons are broken. Uh, this is broken. I'm pretty sure the trap will be broken. Yep. No, oh, the person's still there. Oh shit. And <clears throat> I'm assuming that my netherworld trap is probably broken because a lot of a lot of it's griefed and stuff, but you know, I don't really care. Like um Like I care but I don't really come in here very much, so it's okay. But today I wanted to talk about things like this. Things like just leaving a small message in my house. So someone someone left a small message and I thought that was a really that was a really kind gesture for of them. And things like that can can make people happy. And it, it made me happy obviously, it made me smile. And in turn that can change a lot of things in someone's life. It can <coughs> um it can help someone in ways you wouldn't really you wouldn't really expect it to help. And it it's um it's hard, to, it's hard to explain, but I've been thinking about this today for some reason. And what I want to maybe tell you guys is like, maybe I'll, I, I will enlighten you. <laughs> and maybe it'll, it'll make you think, I, I don't know really. But basically, um, I wanted to talk about how you can change someone's life without um, even thinking about it, without even trying. And everyone changes everyone's life in some sort of way. If that makes sense. Well, not not everyone, but a lot of people you wouldn't expect have changed your life in a way that you wouldn't you wouldn't have really realized. Um, and this is going to be way too deep, and I've been thinking way too much into this, <laughs> and it it's not going to make a lot of sense to a lot of people because this is just, that's just how I think. I think different from most people. <laughs> And a lot of the time, I think way too, way too far in depth. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm I'm just I'm just doing something to sort of <coughs> in, in Minecraft. I mean, I'm I'm just doing something to have as a background for this commentary. But basically, the, the what I'm trying to explain is that that person has has left me a nice message, obviously, and that has put me in a good mood. And th this good mood could put someone in someone else into a good mood and that that could make that person happy for a, for even a split second for example seeing this video in someone's someone's sub box someone might be happy to see my video i'm not saying that <laughs> not saying that people really um i hope people look forward to my videos but i'm just saying that in turn you can change someone's life completely when you didn't really expect it for example Today, that person who left me the kind message has has made me smile. So today, I'm I'm already in a fairly good mood. I talked to my girlfriend this morning. She made me smile, and I am in a happy mood. And just doing something small like that, that would motivate me. Maybe I could go outside today. <laughs> I don't really go out much, but maybe I might go for a walk. I might go for a walk and. On that walk, I might, I might see like a old granny, meaning like um, 
an old granny walking her dog. She might... She might be struggling to cross the road or something. This is gonna get so fucking cheesy or whatever. She might be struggling to, struggling to cut across the road and I... In turn, I might help that woman and that, that woman might have... Um... Been happy that uh, that someone would be, would be kind enough to do something like that for her, and in turn, she she might be happy that day, and then she might do something for someone else because she's just in a good mood, and then she is happy, and she she doesn't <laughs> she has lost hope in the whole the whole of our generation, because I know a lot of people have YOLO swag in it. That's why I'm just referencing there, or referencing there. But basically, I'm trying to say that. Small things for that you do for people can change them in big ways and you wouldn't really you probably wouldn't even find out the ways that you've changed them. Yeah, I might re I might replace the stone here with grass. If I can <laughs> if I can somehow get a grass block up here. I, I think I have a couple of ideas of how to do that, but <coughs> and what what I was talking about before, I, I kinda got a little bit off track, so I I stopped the commentary, I listened to it back, and now I'm, I'm continuing from where I was. So what, what, oh shit, what I was saying was that I, I know that you can change someone in a little way that you wouldn't really have expected. So I've said that many times, but I'm just trying to make that clear. Um, <clears throat> another thing is, you can also change someone in a way that you, you wouldn't expect, in a bad way. So. Um, how, how do I explain this? Um, something, sometimes you can say things that you wouldn't expect to hurt someone, but it would have. And you don't, you don't mean to hurt them, like you might have just said it like lightheartedly. But in that way, in, in turn, someone might take it to heart and it would be something that they wouldn't really, they would have difficulty trying to forget, if that makes sense. For example, when I was young, maybe fourteen-ish, um, and someone told me I someone told me I was I was boring. Like I, someone told me that I was not really like fun to talk to, and I was just a boring person. And I took that to heart because that's what I did when I was fourteen. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but even so, they they probably thought nothing of it. They they just said something that. They they said it just because they could, and they didn't mean they didn't mean to like genuinely hurt me that <laughs> that badly. But when when you take things to heart, sometimes you could, people could say, "Oh, that's your problem. You took it to heart." But sometimes it, it's not it's not their problem. It, it's your problem for being a dick. And I understand why people would take things to heart and why so something so small could could. Uh, like hurt someone so badly so <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is that if you could refrain from saying something badly to someone because you can and because you don't really need to say something like that then go ahead and do that because that's a good idea in in from being called boring ever since then I've genuinely thought like holy shit maybe I'm a boring person maybe that's why I have no fucking friends right now <laughs> and in in that way that it kind of it puts an it puts a negative characteristic into someone that didn't really deserve or need that characteristic in them and that person would think nothing of it but other people will so that that's 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 step two of this this commentary try and do things for try and do nice thing small things for people and that could essentially just, like if you, if you think of it really in depthly it could change the world because oh okay that's that's going a bit too far obviously but if if you always do nice things for nice people they'll do nice things for other people they'll do nice things for other people and it's something that kind of can potentially uh, grow more than you would realize so things little things you do can change the future completely. For example, someone might have tripped me up at school and that day at school would have just 
com been completely different if if they hadn't tripped me up. If <coughs> that day was completely different from what it was, I might have had I might have had a different mindset. I might have had I might like for example I I've met friends on online games so if someone didn't meet if it, if some if that person didn't trip me up that one day I might not have felt I might have felt like playing a game and playing that game I w I might have met, met someone met, meeting that person I might have changed my life completely like uh, like my best friends I've met in real life in on the internet obviously because I've said that before my girlfriend I met on the internet I might not have met her if, if something happened that day my life could be complete completely different <laughs> um from what it is now but that doesn't mean it's always a bad thing but in turn if you if you genuinely do good things for people then generally good things are gonna happen to that person and good things will happen to you so I know this commentary kind of doesn't make sense. My mind's a bit, like, destroyed today. <laughs> like, I'm a bit confused in many ways. And I just felt like making a video maybe to help people think about something they might have done or something they might do. <coughs> so if, if, you, if you want to be a good person, then it's up to you. <laughs> but I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to help people be who they are. If you just be who you are, and that, that I'm sure that everything will work out. But it's not always a bad thing to change who you are, because sometimes change is good. So yeah, it probably doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Basically, the moral of the story is: do nice things for people. Try not to regret things too much. And if something, if someone has said something to you in the past that has changed your mindset about things. For example, I, I think I genuinely think I'm a pretty boring person, but like people change that thing. Like my girlfriend says I'm not boring obviously and people watch me on YouTube so obviously I, I can't be that boring. And try not to take things to heart because I, I know how that feels because I take everything to fucking heart. Um but try and take life less seriously and just try and be happy. Because that's what we're all striving for in the end. <laughs> someone doesn't really, so someone doesn't really want a job because because it'll make them depressed. Someone wants a job because either they will want to make themselves happy or they want the money because in turn they can take care of their family because that'll that'll make them happy. Or you, you never really strive for for depression. <laughs> if you do, then something's wrong with you. I'm sorry, but anyway, I know I haven't really done much in Minecraft today. I just wanted to I just wanted to make a commentary, I didn't really care what was in the background. And people seem to prefer if it was Minecraft rather than like League of League of Legends or something, even though this is way more boring than <laughs> watching a League of Legends game, but I know people want Minecraft and I'm playing Minecraft because people want Minecraft. And I wanted to make a commentary, so it's the best of both both worlds. Hopefully you guys kind of got something out of that. I know a lot of it probably didn't make much sense. And I was just rambling. I tried to make sense of it in my <laughs> in my own mind, but even in my own mind, it kind of doesn't really make much sense. I'm just rambling. I just wanted to make a video. Hopefully, it was a good moral of a story. Be happy and treat people how you'd want to be treated. Don't judge. Don't don't be a dick. <laughs> and I love you guys. <laughs>